Dawn Aerospace announced that it, in collaboration with Scout Space, completed its first demonstration flight with the Space Domain Awareness payload. The development marks a noteworthy step toward achieving SDA capability on a supersonic suborbital space plane. Dawn stated that the approach could transform how commercial operators and governments monitor space. The flight flew from a conventional runway at New Zealand's Tawaki National Aerospace Center and piloted the integration of Scout Space's Morning Sparrow sensor suite on Dawn's Aurora, a high-altitude rocket-powered aircraft. Scout Space also plans to develop a tactically responsive, very low Earth orbit SDA capability. During the flight, Morning Sparrow reached a top speed of Mach 1.03 and a maximum altitude of 67,000 feet. The companies hope that the sensor suite can prove its ability to monitor and capture VLEO objects from suborbital altitudes, providing a rapid and responsive platform for urgent intelligence needs and a cost effective alternative to traditional satellite based SDA. Dawn and Scout Space placed the sensor in Aurora's payload bay keeping it accessible until just before takeoff. The company said this showed how easily the crew could install, access, and adjust space class optics in an aircraft. The crew then began transferring flight data shortly after landing. Don plans to allow Scout Space to operate Morning Sparrow on Aurora for up to 30 flights. Scout Space is also working on two Geo-class outflight units for autonomous SDA and long-range object detection. So